Hey Temple fans, and welcome to Owl Outlook. I'm your host, Fran Duffy. It's day 10 of training camp, and as part of our positional preview, today we're going to get down on the field and talk to the guys who do the most damage to these here sleds, the linebackers. Our own Josh Rolteberg is down on the field with more. Josh, take it away. Thanks, Fran. We're here day 10 of Temple Owls training camp, and I'm joined now by Tahir Whitehead, junior linebacker. And Tahir, how's training camp going so far? It's been treating me good, you know. Um, out here working. I mean, training camp is training camp. Well, you're doing a little bit of different work today. You're not even dressed, so uh, why don't you tell the fans why is that? You know, um, in any given situation, they want to see if the next guy in will be ready to play. So giving the young guys shots to see I mean, where, they're at, where their mindsets are. So what are you going to be doing with them today? Um, I'm going to be helping out a lot, you know, coaching them up, letting them know the little things, what to work on, what to do right, what to do wrong, you know. So I assume you'll be standing next to Coach D'Onofrio and – you know, he's joining you guys now on a more personal level. What's it like working with him? I mean, he, he's enthusiastic. You know, he's exciting about what he do. Um, like, he coaches his heart. You know, he makes sure we know everything that he knows. I mean, it gives us more of a, I mean, opportunity to learn the defense like he know the defense. Well, when he's not coaching you, it's some guys usually who are older will take younger guys under their wing. And I know that Alex Joseph and John Haley, they both graduated last year, so they had to be teaching you some things. Oh, of course. You know, I learned a lot from John and, I mean, Alex. You know, they taught me, oh, I have to come out here and, I mean, be enthusiastic in practice. I have to love the game. I mean, come out here with the mindset always ready to go. You know, they taught me all of the little things to better my toolbox. Well, it seems like you're learning a lot because the coaches got together and they said that after spring ball, you were the most improved player on the defensive side. So what did you have to do this off season, you know, in order to get that? I just grinded, you know. I, mean, I always I mean, had that in my mind. I just got to keep coming out here working every day. I just got to grind. I mean, because that's all it is. It's a grind every day. You just got to come out here and you got to work. And that's, I mean, basically what I did in the spring and it paid off. Well, the grind is certainly showing because even though we can't see it right now, you have a new jersey number, yes. number two, and that's given to one of the tough guys on the team. So what does that mean to you to get that number two? It's an honor, you know, um, to be considered one of the tough guys on the team is definitely an honor. You know, Andre Neblet wore the number two last year. I mean, he's a, uh, another one of my fellow Jerseyans, per se. Um, I mean, I looked up to Andre. He was a hard worker. You know, he's working hard, I mean, as we speak and, I mean, where he is. But it's an honor to have number two. All right, well, thanks to you. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're now here with senior linebacker Elijah Pina Joseph and Pinot House Training Camp. You guys had a good team last year. We have some newcomers to the team now. Any guys standing out to you so far? I mean, that's last year. That's a last year team. That's a whole new team. Everybody, all the young guys is getting better. We have a lot of better ones. We're just teaching them how to do the things we do. And you're also working with Coach Nafia a little bit closer now, so how's that going? Coach Nafia, so I'm just, you know, 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 you it's a pretty special bond. What I also know is that you made some big plays last year in a lot of games, you know, in Buffalo. And then even in the Eagle Bank ball, you led the team in tackles. What do you expect from this year? I mean, those guys are going to be tough. It's a whole new season. You've got to tell them Yeah. 
play. Ones are back in next play. Come back. Hey. Don't fall step me. Don't fall step. Downhill. Let's hit. Come on. Use your hips. Use your hips. Go. Here we go. Let's go. Run the rear. Run the rear. Yeah, give me a good punch. Head back on the court. Good job. Put the north. Good. Good. Good finish. Good. Good. That's it. Now you're in the court. Good. Good. Everything changed. Don't stop in the transition. Hey, me. Hey, you keep doing that, man. You're going to be on the bus. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Gary linebacker. Good. Get a lot of chances. Get a lot of chances. Zach King. See if you can get the period nine today. Good, celebrate, celebrate. Good. Rub the ribs. You're not rubbing the ribs. You're not rubbing the ribs. Marcus, make sure you Marcus through the rep. Now you're raised up on the tackle. Just come off the come off the last bag. Accelerate on contact. Let's go. Come on, Gary. Let's go. Let's get some contact. New number, Jack. New number. Stewart going deep, has a man. 